So my first theory was incorrect. And you don't undo the friction stop or whatever turn. You take this two sections right here and you unscrew them. And once you unscrew it, you will see there's where the Allen key goes. So let's get this thing down to zero. I'm just guessing at all of this, but I'm just going to loosen this off. And then I'm assuming that I can leave that like that. Oh, there we go. So let's get this guy down. So we're going to have to readjust this again anyway. So now with that loosened, I can set this to exactly what I want. Let me look. I'm just setting this up here. Okay. And we'll take a look at that again after. Turn that just a hair. And now let's try and lock it down. I wonder if I should have that locked. I would think that I should have set that before. But we can come back and do that again. Oh, come on. I've lost it again. So as you can see, this is not as easy as using one of those little spanner wrenches. There we go. Lock down. Put this guy back on. I'm hoping you can see all of this. So remember, I showed you how far out undo that a bit because I don't want to put too much force on it. There we go. All right, so let's turn it down to zero. And are we there? I don't know if you can see that, but I would call that about as close to on as you're going to get. So that's how I set, set my central micrometer, January 14th, 1982, I'm assuming that's when the person bought it, I inherited it when I got my lathe. That's it for now.